Now the first thing I want to say here is that we're doing this on the fly. Normally we do a prototype, but for this one we're not. So don't, please don't cut anything until you've watched the full video because we may not end up with a quilt, we might end up with a table runner. So for this quilt I'm going to be using some lovely fabric that we received from Cotton Cuts. Now Cotton Cuts sell fabric by the yard or as pre-cuts. And you can also sign up for a membership to receive curated boxes of fabric on a monthly basis. And this is one of those that you are seeing here. Now this one's the Modern Maker Box and you get three yards of fabric and a few other goodies as you can see. Plus a matching spool of Aurifil thread and everything comes nicely packaged. Now the fabric changes from month to month, so what we're showcasing here may not be available when you choose to sign up. And although the fabrics are a surprise, if you choose the Classic Box membership, you can select the colourway and the quilting style you like, and you can opt out of those that you don't like. And you can also choose the fabric cut that you prefer. Now our goal with this tutorial is to use up as much of this beautiful fabric as we can. So we figured a quilt would be in order, but we want it to be something that's easy to put together. So we went ahead and designed this in EQ8 and you can see that it's made up of lots of squares and rectangles but I really don't want to have to cut up hundreds of bits of fabric and spend hours piecing them all together. So we've come up with a much quicker and easier way to do this and you're going to love this because with this method everything will line up perfectly or pretty close to perfect. So let's cross our fingers and hope that our calculations are correct since we aren't using the cutting instructions from EQ8 but our own method that involves cutting strips. Now this is really simple because all you're going to be doing is cutting some 5 inch strips, you can see that there, and some 2.5 inch strips. Now assuming this works out, all of these measurements will be on the website. So what I have here are my two and a half inch white strips and my five inch coloured strips. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to just work with this set first. So I'll just push all of these out of the way. All right, so I'm just going to turn these around so they're easier for me to work with. And I'm just going to take the top strip of coloured fabric and I'll just open it up. And I'll lay it down right sides facing upwards. Just pop those ones over here for the moment. And I'll take one of these strips, the white strips, and again I will place this right sides down. So we have right sides facing. And I'm just going to lay that all the way along. Now you can pin all the way along if you wish, but I'm going to sew all down here with a quarter inch seam. Alright, so you'll notice that I haven't cut the salvages off. I'm not going to bother at this stage, I'll do that later on. And all I'm going to do now is sew these two strips together with a quarter inch seam. Okay, so I've sewn that and now I'll press that and I'll press the seam to the dark side so it doesn't show through on the white. And I'm just going to do exactly the same thing with all the other five inch strips. So I'll just add a piece of white to them. Okay, so I have all my nine strips now have the white piece attached and pressed and you can see here that the seam has been pressed to the dark side. And now this has been a lovely fabric to work with, really like it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do next is take my nine strips and I'm going to cut each strip into a five inch block. So I have my first strip here and what I'm going to do is remove the salvage. So, so what I've done is I've lined up one of my lines along the seam line so that I've got a nice straight edge to work with. And then I'll just simply cut that off. Now I can't work with it in this direction so I'm just going to turn the strip around so that's easier for me to work with. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the five inch, the five inch line. So I'll keep, keep my line here going along the seam line. And then I'll just line that up on the five inch line and I'll cut. And I'm just going to do that right the way along the strip. Okay, line a line along the seam line on the five inches and cut. Alright, so I have eight squares out of that strip and I have a little bit of fabric left over. So I have cut these now at five inches across and you'll have 24 of each fabric. So now we're going to take our two and a half inch coloured strips and we're going to sew them to our five inch white strips. So to do that, I'm going to take my coloured fabric, place it on top of my white fabric, and I'm going to make sure that I have right sides facing, and I'm going to sew along here 
with a quarter inch seam and are going to do this with all of the strips that I have. So I've sewn my strips together and I've pressed them and I've pressed them to the dark side and now we're going to go and cut them. Alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just line up one of the lines on my ruler along the seam line make sure I've got everything nice and straight and I'm going to cut these at two and a half inches and I'm going to do this all the way along the strip. So I now have 30 strips of each colour, cut at two and a half inches. So far so good. So let's see how this is going to come together. Okay, so we've laid it out and I'm quite happy with the configuration. Uh, you'll lay yours out in the configuration you like. I'm really happy that we've worked this out fine because we've got the right number of squares and the right amount of sashing out of our yardage and that's worked out really well. So just before we go on, I've got a couple of issues that I need to show you. Uh, because this is a directional print, I do have the mushrooms going the wrong way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unpick that, turn it around and sew it back onto the strip and so they'll all be facing topwards. Uh, I also uh, don't need a strip, a white strip on this end corner so I will unpick the square and I'll just attach it to one of the white strips there. You'll also see that there's a bare spot there and that's because I cut one square incorrectly and so I'll need to cut another square for that. But overall I'm really happy with how it's looking and so we'll just move on to the next step. Now I'm starting at the bottom of the quilt and I'm just going to move the sashing row out of the way because I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with the blocks. Now I'm going, you can see these two pieces are matching, so I'm taking my piece of sashing, placing it on top of my block and I'm going to line that up and sew it with a quarter inch seam. I'll come to the next block and I'll do the same. They're matching, turn it over, sew it with a quarter inch seam and so on. And I'm going to do that all along the row. Alright, so in this first row I have sewn the sashing onto the blocks, as you can see here, and I've done the whole row. Now I'm going to ignore the sashing on this end for now, and also this little block, we'll just leave that. So what I'll do now is I'll go to the next row, take the sashing and do exactly the same thing. Place it on top of the block and sew it together with a quarter inch seam. And I'm going to work along and do that along that whole row. And when I finish that, I'll just continue with the next row, and the next row until all of the blocks are sewn together. Alright, so I've got all of the blocks sewn together now, but I still have the sashing row down the bottom here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this first before I start sewing the blocks into rows. So I'll take each of these sashing pieces, lay them over the block, and I'll sew them together with a quarter inch seam. Okay, and I'll work all the way along that row. Now you'll see that I also have my little square here at the end, and what I'll do is I'm going to sew him, or her, to the sashing row above. Now I've sewn the sashing to these bottom row of blocks along here and you can see that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to form the rows. So to do that I'll just take the blocks, put them together just like that and I'll sew with a quarter inch seam. And I'm going to work my way right along the row doing that until I have all of those blocks sewn into one row. And once I've done that, I'm going to come to the next row and do exactly the same thing. Just sew the blocks together and work along the row. And I'm going to do that until all of my blocks are formed into rows. Okay, so we've sewn all the blocks into rows. And just before we go any further, I just want to point out to you here, because of how we've sewn these little blocks in strips, they come together beautifully, so you can see all of the points match nicely. So that rather than cutting things into little squares, you get a much better result when you cut them into strips. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to take the bottom row and we're going to lay it over the next row and we'll match everything up. And then we'll sew that together with a quarter inch seam. And I'll do that in lots of two rows as we work up. So now that I have all of the rows sewn together and I have my quilt top finished, it's time to add some borders. So what I've done is I've made a 2 inch border in white and then a 3 inch border using the coloured fabrics. And I think this has turned out really, really nicely. So uh, just remember that all of the instructions for the cutting and also the step-by-step -step instructions for putting this quilt together will be over on the website at alandacraft.com. Now this fabric has been absolutely lovely to work with and I'm so happy that we ended up with a quilt and not a table runner.
Now I'd just like to say a big thank you to Cotton Cuts for sending us this lovely fabric bundle to try out. I'll put a link to their website in the description field below and also over on our website so that you can go and take a look at their range and their memberships.